hey, it's a preacher. And I got a little problem, and I've, it's kind of been bothering me, and uh, I finally have the right tool to deal with it. Let me show you what the problem is, and then I'll show you the tool. This is my driveway going down to my house. And my driveway kind of has a little dog leg in it, and it goes around a little jet out of brush there. And that brush has just came up in the last couple years, and used to driving down my property, I could see all the way to where I turned to go into the woods. But there's a cedar tree and a privet hedge and some other just junk coming up. Every year, I go in there with a pair of loppers and I cut part of that back. Sometimes I go in there with a chainsaw, and the problem with a chainsaw is it's big, it's heavy, you're trying to get it down on the ground and cut those as low as possible, but you don't want your, your chain to touch the dirt and, and dull your blade. So let me show you what we're going to do to it today. Now I was sent this by a company that sells products like this on Amazon. And when they asked me if I wanted one of these, I said, not only do I want one, I've been wanting one for quite a while. It is a cordless, battery-powered mini chainsaw. And here's what all you get. Of course, you get a battery and the saw. You get a second battery. You get a charger. You get a couple of uh, cut-proof gloves to protect your hands. I've never used these. I have no idea what this is. Nah, just kidding. It's a set of safety glasses. But here's what I liked. This comes with a four inch bar and chain. But with this tool, you take that out and you can put in a six inch. There's the bar, there's the chain, screwdriver to tighten it up. And let me tell you something. This thing will flat cut through small trees and limbs. It's got a safety button right here that you have to push before you can engage the trigger. There you go. You want to see it up close? It works great. Just like that, it's all cut. Let me show you what it cut. You know, you're not cutting firewood here. But that's a, that's a couple inches across, one inch probably an inch and a half but I reached in there with one hand no chainsaw no dragging no pull starting I reached in there with one hand made three quick cuts I couldn't have done that with a chainsaw for one thing all of these vines were everywhere and you can't just one hand a chainsaw in there at least not a not a decent size saw all right I just cut that away so you could see what I'm cutting here let's show you how fast it cuts through this I need to reach over that log and cut that sapling there. I would never be able to reach in there like this with a chainsaw. There's that one. Just one-handed, reach up in there, cut it down, be rid of it. Here's one here. Alright, this is about two inches across. Alright, 
I mean, literally, it takes longer for me to... Alright, there's my cattle guard going into my property. And the time it would have taken me to check the oil and gas in my chainsaw I opened up that little nook right there and I can now see from one end of my driveway to the other and instead of grabbing a chainsaw barn chain oil gas just to make a little trip to open up a trail you just grab that or if you want to grab the whole box you grab this now obviously we're not out cutting a rick of firewood with this and that's not what it's intended to do all right, here's the thing about it. This thing is as handy as a pocket on a shirt. It's better than sliced bread. It's, uh, it's better than ice cream. It's the greatest invention since the uh, microwave oven? I don't know. Nah, maybe not on that scale. I know there's a number of companies out there making these. DeWalt's has got them, Milwaukee's got them. Uh, just about every major cordless implement or, or a tool manufacturer makes a little chainsaw. Here's the thing I like about this one. And I know I haven't ran it for 10 years, but by that time, the next greatest thing would be out. But I'm gonna give you my honest opinion of it. This thing is super handy, super easy. For what we just did, I can't think of a better tool. I, yes, I have loppers. This is so much easier than trying to open up your arms and work your lopper down in there. You reach in there with one hand, you make a quick cut, it's out of the way. This works so much better than that. It's got a safety feature. You have to push this button on the side before you can engage the trigger. So you're not gonna accidentally cut your arm off. So who would need this? If you're a hunter, you need one of these. If you set up in the woods, let's say you, you put up a deer stand, Man, you can just reach out there and cut limbs on a tree you need to cut. Let's say you're opening up a shooting lane. I mean, I'm all the time with a pole saw and a set of loppers. Not anymore. This right here. Uh, you throw this in that little box in the back of your side-by-side -side or strap it on your four-wheeler. It'll fit in your backpack. You could walk into the woods with all of that. Not that you would need it. This right here would be enough. If you're a hunter, you need this duck hunter. You're making a duck blind, you're setting up somewhere. Man, you could quickly zip through cane with this. I was about to buy one when they asked me if I wanted one. I said, shoot, yeah, I do. And so here we go. Anyways, I'll quit rambling on and on and on about it. I like it. I plan on using it mainly for hunting, for maintaining the trails on my property, keeping the limbs out of the way. Okay, here it is with the six inch bar. Of course, as you can see, sticks out another two inches. And uh, right below you, I have a rotten log sticking through the fence. Let's just see how long it takes the six inch bar to cut through that, then I'll show you the log. You judge for yourself. I don't know at what point <laughs> the camera turned sideways, but I cut through six inches of uh, pretty hard wood right there. It made short work of it. So how long will it last? That's a million dollar question. I don't know. You don't know. We don't know. We just got to run it. Here's the thing. I like it. It's handy for making a few quick cuts for keeping on your side by side when you're going fishing. If you want to cut you a couple of poles to to prop your rods up in or you want to trim some limbs out of the way where you can cast and actually set down let's just say you got a little log across the trail you want to just cut it in half and get it out of the way this right here makes quick work of those jobs that's what it's for it's for short quick cutting i wouldn't typically cut something that size with this but it works great so uh you'll see it in more videos i'm sure i'll carry it around 
and we can find out together how long it lasts but for $99 let's see see you guys on the next video